the, the philosophy that Brian Price wanted to bring in here. Uh, and I think that's going to be the way it is with Zach throughout the season. Well, thrown high, but Votto gets his foot down. Good job by Votto, a leaping effort, and then got the puppy down on the bag to beat Taylor, who's trying to beat it out for a base hit. Looked like the Jesus got underneath that. He, it was a routine play, had plenty of time to throw, but he dropped his elbow just enough, and the ball began to sail. The has been solid wherever you put him. Second, third, or short, where he's played for the Reds this year. And they're waiting because Dusty Baker has held up his hand for the home plate umpire, Doug Eddings. They may want to challenge it. It appeared that Vado got back on the bag in time. But Dusty's peering into the runway behind his dugout. And Moscot will take a trip behind the mound and rub up the baseball. They're going to challenge it. And they will challenge. So we'll start it off early here. A challenge by Dusty Baker in the first inning that. The play at first resulted as the umpire called it as an out, but they feel that Taylor might have gotten there before Votto's foot got back on the bag. I don't think Joy's foot ever got back onto the bag. I think he turned to tag. The throw was high, taking Votto up into the air. Now you watch when Votto comes down. He's not on the bag there, and it looked like he tried to tag him, but I think this is going to end up with Michael Taylor at first base. Oh no! Yeah, it looks like heel on might have been on May there. have gotten that heel on there. Well, in New York, they have every angle imaginable. The ones we have, plus the ones that are in the ballpark, the ones that the visiting Washington Nationals have as well. You could see the back of Votto's spike kind of crinkle a little bit, and the bag as well. It didn't look like it from. The first to second base angle, but once they gave you the angle that was down from home plate to first base, you could tell that that hill came down on the bank. More often than not, they're getting it right. More often than not, though, Cowboy, some of these replays are taking two and a half, two, two and a half minutes. I think if you can do one thing better, and that's put a time limit on it, maybe whether it's 60 seconds or 90 seconds, if you don't have a decision by then, turn the page and it stands. Yeah, I, I don't know that they can get it done in, in 60 seconds. I think there's too much going on unless you just have one umpire replay per game, and that's not the way this works right now. Uh, at least two games are being, at least two games are being viewed by one umpire. And I think I think if you gave him a two minute limit, you'd be all right. But I think he is out. He is out. The crew chief Jeff Nelson confirming that he is out. Out at first, reaffirmed, and Joey Votto got the heel on the bag, so two away. I, I would think that in that situation, if Votto knew that he didn't hit the bag when he came down, he would have reached much more aggressively towards the base runner.